Hey everybody, this is Structural Steve again, and in this video I'm going to show you how to add external contacts outside of your organization to your Microsoft Teams, and a better way to chat and call with them on Microsoft Teams. So Microsoft Teams has become a really important part of our you know, professional life, given all that's happened over the last year or so. And you know it's a really great tool, but one thing that most people don't realize is that you can in fact talk to external parties. And when I say external parties, I mean you know, people outside of your organization or, or your domain name. So the first thing is to make sure that you know, your IT or your Teams admin has that turned on. That is a setting that you can turn on through the admin portal where you can talk to people outside of your organization. So that's the first step. But once that's turned on, then all you have to do is go into Teams, go into the chat here, and then what I like to do is actually create a, a new group. And I'll just call this external one because I've already created one other external group so we can create that and then from here you can add a contact to this group so if you just type in the name of the person you want to add you know it's not going to find them right because you're in your own organizational domain but if you have their email address and they have a Microsoft account and they you know have access to teams or even Skype for business then it will indeed show up for for you here so I'm gonna go ahead and just paste the email of the person that I know has Teams and I want, and, you know, it was with another company and I want to be able to call him or, or chat with them through Teams. And you'll notice here that it did indeed find him here. So you know, since he was in the, the Microsoft system, then it was able to go out and find him even though he has an external domain name here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on him and hit add. And now you can see, you know, that person's name here under the external context. It takes a second for it to, you know, to load and get you the, the status of that person. In this case, they're offline. And you know, one thing I like to note about this is the fact that when you're talking to somebody, you know, in your own organization, like right now I'm in my, my own company organization, you know, domain or, or portal, if you want to call it that, and you're talking to somebody external, you know, it, it can be a little spotty sometimes, you know, my success rate for, you know, them receiving messages or me receiving their messages, you know, can vary from time to time. So one trick I found is that you can actually gain access to you know, other people, other companies, domains, or organizations within Teams just by getting added to a team that's hosted on their site, on their organization. So what that means is that if you know, this person here wanted to add me to a, a team, you know, an actual Microsoft team, and he created a team on his organization or his portal and then invited me, then I would have access to kind of jump into their their domain and talk to him directly and you get more functionality within teams you get a you know 100 percent success rate in terms of messages um, you know chat messages and things like that and you'll notice that when you actually go up here because once once they added me to a team or once a person adds me to a team that's hosted in their organization then you're going to start to see the different domains you can access up here so this one i'm in here is you know my own company name but if I drop that down, these are other organizations in which they've added me to a team that was hosted on their organization. So I can actually click on this one here and then it'll take me out of my portal, my company portal or organization or domain, and then jump me into theirs. So now I have direct access to their system here and I can you know, find people within their organization. I don't need to know their email necessarily, but I can just type their name in here and chat with them and call them. And it's just a better way of communicating with, with external parties by going into their own uh, domain here. Again, just by getting added to a team that's simply hosted on, on their domain here. And one thing to note about this, though, too, is that now that I'm on you know, this company's domain, I'm not going to be able to necessarily receive messages from you know, people that are trying to contact me through my own organization. So... What I like to do is I like to keep my main desktop app on, on my own organization. And then I'll just open up a, a web browser and go to teams.microsoft.com. And then I can actually be in a, a different organization uh, portal here. Like here, I'm in, in the Bentley one here. And so now I'm in both my own organization one in the, the desktop app here. And then I'm also in the Bentley one here through the, the web browser here. So this allows me to get notifications from both portals, both organizations at the same time. And you know, I even went as far as making it so that when my computer boots up, it automatically loads or opens up you know, Google Chrome here. 
And then I went into the Google Chrome settings and made it so that whenever Google Chrome opens up, it automatically opens up Microsoft Teams in here. So now when I open up my computer or boot up my computer in the morning, you know, the Teams desktop app automatically loads just because that's the way that, you know, our, our IT had set it up and that loads in my own company portal. And then the browser opens up and Teams opens up automatically in my browser. So now I have automatic access each time I boot up my computer to, you know, an external organization's contacts. So that's just a good little trick on how to like gain better access to, you know, external contacts or people that are outside of your organization and be able to find them and, and chat with them and, just, and get better functionality too out of Teams as opposed to, you know, being in your own organization's domain and then trying to add them where, you know, you don't have quite all the functionality in terms of the chat, uh, some of the stuff down here. And, you know, you're not 100% sure if they're getting the messages. But if you're talking to them through their own domain, you know, you're going to make sure that they're going to see that your messages. You're going to be able to see, you know, the little eyeball down here to see that they've seen the message and that they've got it and, you know, that you're receiving all of their messages. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like now, share with others, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video.